Hey guys, Will from Boosted Autos here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to wire up a remote switch to control accessories. So in this case, it's going to be the Demon Eyes, which I installed in a previous video. So if you haven't seen that and you want to check it out, check it out in the link above my head right now. But in this video, we're going to be focusing on the accessories wiring. So what I've got in front of me here is my MX-5 with no front end on it. I've kept the front end off it for now simply because it's easier to run the wiring through the front bar and keep it tidy with everything off. So we get our positive and negative from one side here. We're going to run that across the front of the car. We've got our positive and negative from the other side as well. And what we've got here is a little relay control module. So you can buy these on eBay and I'll share the link for you as well. And then whenever you press the on off switch on here, it'll switch on and off regardless of whether you've got the car on or off. So it should be pretty cool. Just to quickly explain what's going on with this circuit here, at the top of the white wire we've got the negative input for the relay trigger, so that's what latches the relay closed, the electromagnetic switch. Then you've got the positive side which feeds the latch, but because we always want to have power here, this is just a battery connection, what happens is that power is the switch circuit, and then when we press on or off on our remote, it'll trigger the relay. So the power is going to the switch, and then when the switch is activated, it latches the, um, it latches the coil. So then we've also got a positive link there as well to this pin, which is our switching side. So this is the side that actually gets latched closed. So when the switch is closed, we then have positive power that goes through to the positive side for our, um, for our demon eyes. And then we just connect the negative to the body of the car. So negative input for the relay switch, positive and a link for the, uh, for the switch and the power to the demon eyes. And then we've got the output for the demon eyes. So now we just need to get this all feeding through. So get these wires kind of popped into position here like that and then that wire will just sit there like that and we'll pop the housing closed. Now what I'm going to do is because this module is not in any way watertight I'm going to wrap the whole thing up with electrical tape so not going to be particularly pretty but this is all going to be hidden away anyway so I'll just wrap the electrical tape around that's that part and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to squirt a little bit of silicon in these ends just to seal that up as well Right, so we've got our RTV. There we go, so now we've got a nice sealed module that's not gonna get any water inside it. All right, so I've got my control module all sealed up here positive line that will go to the demon eyes or any other accessory that you want to hook up. So now we've got our negative and positive wire on this side. So this side, the negative is going to go to a little crimp ring, which we can use to link to the body of the car pretty much anywhere. So we'll just crimp that down. And if you saw my, um, my wiring harness that I built for the headlights, You'll see that I always like to solder these as well, just to make sure I've got a nice strong connection. So we'll grab our solder quickly. And the trick here is you need to get it nice and hot. So run the solder onto the joint. If it's balling on the tip of the soldering iron, you know you haven't got the joint hot enough yet. So run the solder onto the joint itself. And once we've got enough heat in there, it'll just kind of flow on there. There we go, like that. So that's nice and solid. Okay, so that's our ground ready. So the next thing we need to do is solder up our fuse cartridge. We're gonna put that in line with the positive side. And the reason for that is just so that if we ever get a short in the system, it'll blow this fuse. So basically it isolates this circuit. So if there's ever a problem, it doesn't break anything else. So this is just a little five amp fuse sitting inside this cartridge. Only a low amperage fuse because this, this circuit's never gonna draw much anyway. So we'll wire that in line as well. So trim the end.
Alright, so what you do from here on is going to depend on your car and the layout and that kind of thing a little bit. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this point just down here for my ground. So we're going to have the ground for the control box. We'll go there and then I'll also run another ground there as well for the actual demon eyes themselves. Then I've got my positive wire which is going to run around. Move this out of the way. You can see here the positive line that I put in place for my headlights in an earlier video. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tap into this wire here and that will give me my positive for my demon eyes. So we'll use a wire tap here like that and then we'll get everything cleaned up. This box will tuck nicely away just down in here and sit on top of the um, sit on top of the relay box. So that will be nice and secure and yeah, should work well. So let's get that done. So what I've done here is I've tapped into my existing wire for my headlights there with a 20 amp Jow X connector. Now a Jow X connector looks like this and I'll link to this in the description below. What you do is you feed your original wire through here and then you just squeeze it closed with a pair of pliers. Then you put the wire that you want to join in this side, squeeze it closed again. And what it does is it cuts through the sheath but leaves the core of the wire intact. So we're not reducing the rating of this wire at all. All we're doing is just tapping a new wire into the existing connection. So that should work really nicely, nice and clean. And they're also water resistant as well. So we'll connect all this back up again, make sure it's nice and safe and um, we'll test it all out. We've got a positive wire which we'll need to connect to the actual demon eyes and a negative wire which will connect to that post that I showed you before. We'll also run the other wire up for the demon eyes as well and connect that in line with that as well. So having a look at the completed wiring, you can see the fuse cartridge from our headlights, which we installed in the previous video, goes down to our T-junction just there, and then runs back up. Behind the block here, you've got the two grounds for the control module and the ground to the actual demon eyes. That runs around the back as well. We'll tidy up the wiring in here as well, just make it a little bit cleaner. You've got the control module tucked up nicely away there, and then you've got your line here which will run down to the actual demon eyes itself. So now we just need to wire that up. All right, so when I actually built the demon eyes originally, I put a really long cable on the end just because I didn't know how long I'd need to run it, where I'd be running it, that kind of thing. But what we need to do now is we need to actually put a plug on here because we need to be able to remove these headlights. And if we run the cable through the car uh, with no plug, then we can, un we can unplug everything else. But if we ever need to remove the headlights for any reason, they're gonna be snagged on this wire. So.
right, so with that done, we can install our headlights. with now is just this little short pigtail here so we're going to run a cable one to this side we'll run the cable around the front of the car through the loom tube in the front and then we're going to do exactly the same thing on this side as well so we've got a little connection here to here so we're going to end up with two sets of wires one from the left and one from the right side which we'll connect and splice up with our wires from our control module So now we have our two wires coming through to here, so left and right, which will connect up to our newly installed plugs. All we need to do now is just splice it in with the positive and negative coming from our control module. So we'll cut it down to the correct length, get it all connected up, run some loom tube to make it all nice and tidy, plug everything in, and then we're done. Quickly to recap, we've got our control module sitting in here with the wire spliced into our battery line there. We've got our two grounds connected up here. And you can see there I've scratched the post nice and clean to make sure we've got a really good quality connection there. And then the cabling runs through the sill, down through a loom tube. The first side splits out into our right hand side headlight, which is plugged in here and then it runs across the front through this existing loom tube for my headlight wiring, through the back here, and we just need to plug this in, which is harder than it looks with one hand. Plugged in, tuck it away, job completed. Nice, working. 
Okay, so that is how you install a 12 volt accessory remote controlled line into your engine bay. I've used it for demon eyes in this case, but you can use it for pretty much anything you want. The only limitation is the current that the relay module can handle. My module can handle about five amps. You can get more powerful ones if you want to. It just depends on what you're wanting to run. So hopefully you found the video interesting and useful. If you have, please make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. If you haven't already, make sure you check out the video I did on the DIY installation of the demon eyes, actually showing you how to install them into your headlights themselves. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.